Alright, so I went mushroom hunting. As you can see here, I hit the mother load. This is a uh, bolete mushroom. I didn't cut the tail of it off, I should have. See, the, this thing's got bits of leaves and stuff stuck to the top of it. I keep missing the boletes. They grow in the uh, field next to my house and uh, I go back there hunting for them regularly but it seems like I'm always coming out there and finding them just utterly smashed up but the bolets are delicious uh, some of them are really good that's what they look like inside some people take out this spongy layer some people leave it in this one stains blue very slightly but I'm gonna eat it anyways I'm not gonna worry about it it's very slowly staining and I'll let you know if I die in a future video. This one here is another bullet. See, it's different type, but it still has got that spongy bottom on it. This was more white when I picked it, but it's sort of changed since... Um, kind of yellow, yellow greened out a little bit. It's interesting, there are species of flies that lay their eggs, or insects that lay their eggs right into mushrooms. Sometimes you'll have a mushroom, and it's incredible. You will pick a mushroom and it looks like it's totally fine and good, but it's already got little maggots running through the center of it. And you think, how in the world could that be so fast? But the, the eggs probably are laid and they hatch a few hours later, and then the little insect is completing its life cycle within a few days and it's off to another mushroom. I, I don't even know how they do it, but it's an amazing piece of design. They often come with them little uh, insects built right in, it seems like. So those are a couple of bolets I found. Here are some good looking chanterelle mushrooms. Uh, I should have trimmed all these things nicely, but it was getting dark and I was out walking and I thought, just grab all I can quickly. I was getting utterly eaten alive by mosquitoes out there. But you can see this beautiful chanterelle. I've got multiples here. Uh, that's enough for breakfast. Um, scramble them up with some eggs, saute them in butter, whatever else. There's a lot of um, edible mushrooms in Florida, particularly at this time of year. This is, you know, you want to go looking all, all through the states right now as there's some rainfall and uh, as it's getting a little cooler, the mushrooms are really popping up. I mean, that's, that's a lot of mushrooms. Alright, so my video got cut off there. I think perhaps somebody at Nikon was afraid I was going to uh, turn around and record another perennial peanut video, so they just remotely disabled my camera because they can do things like that now. Anyhow, chanterelles, these will be breakfast tomorrow, and like I was saying, this is a gigantic fluffy mushroom, and we'll see how it tastes. Looks pretty awesome. And uh, this other fluffy mushroom, we'll see how it tastes. Some of the bolets are kind of bitter, so um, that'd be good. A few days ago, I'll show you this too. A few days ago, I found a couple of these. It's like I dropped the other one underneath the table. This is a very professional production. These are reishi mushrooms, also known as Ganodermas, and uh, you can just pick them and they have such low water content in them, you can just take them home and leave them on your counter, and if your wife doesn't throw them away, later you can chop them up and use them uh, for tea. They're supposed to be really, really good for your immune system, but you've got to cook the living daylights out of them to make them uh, actually make tea. You can't just you know, throw them in a tea bag very well. Probably uh, an espresso grinder would be a good way to knock them into little bits, but I haven't tried it. Anyhow, just a little bit of uh, mushrooming from the south here, and I hope to see you all online at thesurvivalgardener.com.